welcome back to Oxventure Extinction, where we are joined by last week's special guest again. It's only ever bloody Charmony Bundell. You can't Woo. get rid of me. Welcome. <laughs> Nor do we want to, oh, frankly. Oh, thank you. Especially since everyone seems to be in a spot of bother. Dob has just uh, cast shatter on an Correctly. old... Correctly. <laughs> we don't know that. It could be a peaceful hag. Yeah, on an, on yeah. an old woman who yeah, has no, turned no, into no. some sort in of... In her own home. Lonely yes. Hag. Has yeah. turned oh. into just an yeah. yeah. Hag, be ye a peaceful hag, I say. <laughs> Sorry, it's just my stomach really hurts now. Yeah, dog. This Ooh. elderly hag is sort of straight up. Now Sorry about that. Why do you think I'll shatter one more time? <laughs> <laughs> They make me turn you into Strahd von Zarevich again. Okay, I mean, look. Let's just <laughs> hear. We gave this <laughs> woman an opportunity to explain the presence of all of these baby bones and, you know, an explanation other than I there am luring so and eating. There are so many reasonable things so that many. could account for a mountain of baby bones. We've all been there, haven't no. we? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Sounds like you all have it handled. <laughs> well... I mean, I was more than happy to give you an explanation. Great. It's just you only gave me ten seconds. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, I mean, what, yeah. <laughs> ten seconds is about the amount of time I think it would, yeah. I think it would take longer to explain a huge pile of baby bones. <laughs> Let, well, seconds. let's see, shall we? <laughs> I sit down, I make myself a little comfortable, smooth out some bones out of the way, <laughs> yes. sit down on the floor. Okay. All right, well, um... I eat things to live. Okay. I convert them into okay. chemical energy, yeah, which yeah. allows it's the, it's me to continue process. living. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah. like, I suppose, most things that eat things, okay. I have a preference for some things I eat and some things I don't. Yeah. I happen to think that the younger things that taste better. Like lamb or? Yeah. Well, like yeah. that. How do you how do you maintain a sort of breeding population given that you're? Oh, I, I just sort of I, I hunt selectively. Okay, I mean, One week I'll have baby bunnies. Okay. And then I'll leave them for a while. Don't have to leave bunnies too long. Mm. You know what they're like. Sounds so sustainable. And then every, once it's, once a season, I'll take some baby deer. They, then you have to control their population numbers. Yeah, and I mean, then occasionally if that got out of control. Well, it's actually better for the. Uh, the ecosystem. And of course, if so I can sneak can into a human settlement, I'll enchant one of their children and take that away. You'll do what? <laughs> <laughs> Hear her out. <laughs> I'm just saying, every now and then, I'm, you know, if there's a child in a remote place, I'll, um, I'll, I'll earn their trust and they'll call me granny and then one day I'll say, won't you come back to my home for a spot of tea? And I'll eat them. Dog Shatterer. <coughs> oh, sorry, did you want me to cast Shatterer? Why you, this is just where I live. Do, have, you, have you got some sort of tenancy agreement with uh, Professor Hammerdahl? With who? The, the, the owner of this fine establishment. Now, I, I don't want to be one. Uh, to kick, kick an elderly person out of their home, but I'm right. afraid you are on private property. Well, I've lived here for 150 years. Mm. It's a bit awkward. Um, yes, yeah. I should say Deep so. Kids. Now, I've never heard of a Hammerdahl before, or I've never <laughs> been under any illusion that anyone owns this delightful place I call my home. Surely I have a, a right to remain here and occasionally prey on a delicious child. Mm. No, hear, no, hear her, hear her out, Corazon. That's yeah. what you said. We, well, now we have heard her out, and she's yeah. no, no. You've turned, right. you've, you've turned into a dialogue. It's so fine. we're we're on an island. Where are these children <laughs> coming from? Well, you, you you um you did mention um how do I sustain the population when I like eating the young ones, and I said I'm very careful. Let's just say I learned the hard way about um about managing populations. 
So no one's lived on this island for about 75 years. Uh, before then, they did I live on the island. Know. But then eventually, mm. childless, mm. they all died. Mm. Mm. Well, this has been a very interesting explanation. Thank you. I'm so glad I didn't leap to conclusions. I say dusting myself off and I'd like to cast Shatter again. <laughs> Sure, yeah. Uh, it's a saving throw from me. It's con saving throw um, against your wisdom. Uh, spell uh, sorry, save against DC, your spell save DC uh, which is um, 15. Uh, 15 <coughs> plus 2 is 17. Half the damage. So, uh, oh, I forgot to take any damage from the, the first one. Oh, that so was a 17. 17, yeah. lovely. Yeah. Oh, no, I did note that down. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so roll me 3d8 and yes. then halve it. Half as much. Okay, yeah. Uh, 3d8. Yeah. Why 3d8? Well, I don't know. This is what it says on the thing. I'm beaming this out of a big old spell. Sword. Oh, right, yes. In that case, increase it. Really increase the damage. <laughs> cool. I'm sorry. Uh, well, that's 20. So uh, if I. You're whomping her in the stomach again. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. But it'll be. It's halved. Yeah, it's halved. Halved. Halved, yeah. right, yeah. So 20, that's 10. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, just a big old. Just gonna take out a little sort of pitch whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach again, or face, or? You wanna disable the limb? Uh, legs. Legs? All right. Oh! All right. Oh! Do you do this normally, just going around hurting things because they're following their nature? Still or is this talking. just... Are we gonna, shall, I, shall I sit down again? Do you want to talk to us some more? And then I'll get up and do another attack in a little bit. She's making some good points. I sit down again. Yeah. She's making just, some good points about the nature of Thank you. Things. In ecological terms, she's just an apex predator. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I ate some children nearly a hundred years ago. <laughs> would would, would yeah, you dog. be open to some sort of... Uh, agreement avoiding any sort of endangered species. I think we all agree that yes, I've giraffes said. say should not be. Yeah, eaten. or humans. Okay. No or way. Centaurs. Look, yes. I, I get that she's. I know what you're saying about she's an apex predator and she's part of the sort of chaotic yeah. na natural world. Yes. But so is Dob. Okay. I wish to attack. Okay. Well, have at it. All right. You can all watch. <laughs> Alright, yeah, seems fair. We can't <laughs> negotiate. Think of all the people we've killed. I haven't killed anyone. What? No! I've think never killed anyone. Meryl went. All the people. But you've killed the fleeing. <laughs> think of all the people prisoners. we've killed for would, so much less. You and Meryl went have killed a lot of people. 70 you? years of child harvesting. I, I may have murdered a lot of clones, yes, but they were of my friends, and I didn't, like, <laughs> they were made... you kill your friend's clones. Well, they were made without his permission, and they were being used for evil deeds. Right. And I didn't... Apparently I'm way out of line wanting to attack <laughs> the monster. Well, I, so I, I agree will... with you, but I, I also... Yeah, I'll, yeah, I sit back down. <laughs> this is a moral conundrum! <laughs> it, it, it really isn't. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Ms. Ms. Alanis. Alanis. Alanis Hag. Alanis Hag. Um, how do you feel about sparing Terence? Who's Terence? I point at the... Well, well he is like straining yeah, to yeah. get to uh, And all endangered species. Disease. Oh yeah, but you, you understand sustainability yes. and, and, and circle That's of life and whatnot. That's the only one whatnot. of those I've seen. So you can't have this one? I don't want to eat Great. it. Great, why not? Because it's endangered. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Like, obviously. Because then I eat the so, bunnies yeah. Yeah, and then right. I'll leave them alone. And then once a season, I'll go after deer. So you're just going to eat Terence's children? No. Well, that isn't because they're endangered. Right. Yeah. So like, should he reach a point of of of, of least concern on the economic scale? Am I might consider okay. it. Yeah. Right. But it does you look don't. friendly. How are you accessing this scale of concern to least concern? It seems like you're not getting up-to-date ecological reports. I keep a tally on the the, uh, the wall of my cave. <laughs> of course, I sit back down. Continue. I'm, I'm going to put Terry down. Yeah. Mm. See He's going to, like, he scampers over and, like, is looking up and he's just like... <laughs> and, uh, uh, like, Alana just goes, oh, he's lovely. Oh, look. I did want to find a good home for Terence. And aside from the child murdering, yeah. mm. this person. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I feel like that last clause was doing quite a lot of heavy lifting in the sentence. <laughs> <you're>... <laughs> Historic, yes. Well, there's no more children on the island. No. Yeah. Mm. Not a so one. We are going to have to make sure that everyone on the island is aware of your presence and 
potential well, tendency to... I'm not going to eat any more people. I've learned my lesson. She has got shattered legs now. Yeah. And my leg hurts a lot, so I couldn't even chase a child down if I wanted. <laughs> but you do want to. Oh, no. I don't blame you. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Should we factor in to our decision making yeah. the fact that we are clearly a sort of fairly strong and overwhelmingly powerful adventuring party and that that might be feeding into the responses that we're being given here regarding, I promise I'll never do it again, <laughs> etc. I'm sensing that this one just really wants a tussle. Is he normally no, like this? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I won't do anything unless, unless the party wants it to. I do not think we so should all settle. Well, I mean, if the young you man must. wants to bring it, he can bring it, I suppose. But really, I'm, I'm just looking to live out a quiet existence here. Why do you think all the bones are here? Why it's to we... scare away anyone who might come near bones with their delicious, <laughs> vulnerable children. I just think... Why was Terence lured to this spot? What do you mean, lured? Well, Terence kind of ran drawn as if to. as if compelled, drawn to. Well, I'm quite sure I don't know. I woke up this morning and I looked outside and I, I noticed, I counted the rabbits and then I updated my chart <laughs> on all of the caves. So <laughs> and then, of course, it was time for some breakfast. So I had a small bowl of stew, as I want to do of a morning, and then I swept out my cave. I don't cave. have a watch, but... And then do you, do you I, um, tell the bee to seek out the nectar? And then, of course... What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that the, the, the Tarasque was drawn here... By the stew. Of, by the the of delicious smell of stew. Or that. I, I can certainly that. provide for this young one until it is old enough to hunt capably on oh. its own. I just think what we have to do what is best for Terry. What a happy ending. Terry is is the priority here. I think we can all agree. Yeah. This horrible little monster has found its forever home. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I suppose it's settled. If, unless I don't know why you're looking. At me. I'm not in charge of this group. It's a democracy, isn't it? But it's more than you. But hang on, let's put it to a vote. Uh, all who think uh, generations of child murder should be punished. <laughs> Me, but that's all right. That's just my hand up, so it's fine. Oh, so yes, so no, I think we're good. Well, Terrence, second run and play with your new. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sensing um, a lot of negativity here. This should be a joyous children. occasion if for you're trying to years. find a <laughs> guardian for this baby to ask. You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> uh, hey, it's a thumbs up from Dob. <laughs> Two thumbs up. This is awesome. well, thank this is you your for your time. Decisions. I think we could be on our way now. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, take it easy. Well, okay, so just to the others, I'll be like, let's uh, retreat behind a bone pile and just sort of watch. Watch her eat Terry. Watch. No, watch <laughs> Terry. If she starts trying to eat Terry, we can swoop in. That's we true. should, yes, I, I, yes, I agree. I, I think agree that's a little well. distrustful of you. I, I propose we don't do that. <laughs> We've made an agreement, I suggest we honour it. But Terry's safe. Are we not honourable? I think we should just go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Retreat behind it. <laughs> just, just, I just swallow behind a bone pile yeah. and have just I'm just watch for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, everyone make me <laughs> a, yeah. Everyone make me a dex stealth check, please. Oh my god. Well, what was the roll? Was the check? Dex. Dex. Um. Can I cast Dexterity Saving Throw? Yeah. 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 Can I cast Pass Without Trace? You absolutely may, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we add to our so yeah. 10 yeah. to everyone's stars? Oh, 26. 26. All right. 26. So I'm also... 29. 20. 16. <laughs> Fair for a centaur. <laughs> what do we add? Sorry. 10. 10. 34. Whoa. Is it a dex stealth? Mm -hmm. Okay. I place a large animal skull over my own head oh, and hide good. in a bone pile. I climb, <laughs> I climb inside a slightly larger skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are now in a bone mac. Cool. Yeah. Um, right, I am going to observe. There is a nearby ossuary, yes. Um, nice. Well, uh, you see sort of the hag uh, kind of mm. puts, well, sort of pats Terry on the head and then kind of like there's a an audible wrenching noise as she puts her leg back in alignment. <laughs> and then just goes, you see a sort of putter into the, into the cave and then come out bearing a very large bowl steaming stew and sort of putting it down and Terry just like <laughs> just buries his face in it. It's like 
Um, and she just kind of stands there and goes, <gasps> and just sort of watches. Contenders. I should have given her some more instructions about what he likes. And what seems he to like, like. Seems to like that stew. I would say it's not too late it's to fake. shout it. <laughs> we all do is give away that we were hiding behind a boat. Oh, she, um, sort of, Terry's done. She picks up a very large skull and just kind of <gasps> hefts it. Terry sort of chases <gasps> after it. I feel like she comes comes back with the skull. Changed and learned her lesson. Dog. Cool, great. Let's go then. I miss eating human children. <laughs> yeah, stay on the wind. We could we could maybe tell some people. Yeah, in case I, others have a vested interest. Let's put up. I think, I think, I think everyone about, should do whatever they like. I think we need to tell Hamadal. I'm my concern is. Oh yeah, what we if, better tell Hamadal. Then that's the right thing. Yes. Yes, because Ham, Hammy all Hammy is very responsible. Tammy. Well, like we need to know if he plans to like open the reserve to visitors and things like that. So you know we yes. want to make sure yeah. there's They're maybe an age limit. They're going to build the Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Ville right now, <laughs> next to the. <laughs> Okay, it might yeah. be a they, they probably will invite children yes. to this bit larger attraction eventually. Yes. Oh, the Buffets are long dead. <laughs> <laughs> Little Jimmy, he was the first to go, and then <laughs> Sally Buffett, <laughs> and then Jemima Buffett, <laughs> Michael Buffett. He tasted like a cheeseburger. And then, of course, where was Jeremiah Buffett? All alone and old, with no children. <laughs> Wasting away. In wasting away. Margaritas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. sipping on margaritas. Uh, okay. Well, this. I mean, this feels feels a bit weird because of all the child murder. But that was in the past, and there aren't any children around anymore. Let's so. just stop talking about it or thinking about it. Hey. And, and not feel any responsibility for that because comedy is tragedy plus time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm having uncomfortable thoughts, and I don't like them. I would like to uh, blank and repress those. And move on. I'd like yeah. to just make a little sign saying, beware, hag. Oh, that's good. That should do that's it. Good. That should do it. Nail it to a tree. Yep. Good just, good. Yes. Brackets. <laughs> Children eater, maybe. OK. Is that, <laughs> is that beware, hag, or beware, comma, hag? <laughs> <laughs> be- beware, colon, hag. Ah, perfect. Yeah. I understand. Yes. Now I know who the sign is for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I make a sign that says, beware, hag. Don't eat any more children. <laughs> yes, lovely, perfect. That's the most civic-minded thing you've ever done. <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off there. Let's go tell Hammy the good news. Mm-hmm. Make I think sure you'll be so pleased. He's going to be so happy. <laughs> we'll make sure he's going to keep an eye on on Terry and yeah. Ms. B. Alana's hag. Uh, Alana's, Alana's hag, hag yes. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just think this all worked out wonderfully, mm. and I'm, I'm very pleased from my tour with the... Uh, with the safety, I will endorse this attraction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done, uh, us. All right. Love it. Alanis looking the child eater now looking after a child, isn't it ironic? Oh, well, then she said. It's fine. It's fine, isn't it, Johnny? Yeah. Johnny, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. 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 You ought to know. <laughs> How long does it take for a Tarask to grow to adulthood? To full Another maturity? Another fact that I know, yes. Yeah, a few years. Some years. Okay. And, then, and then Terry, Terry will be hag-sized, and they'll yeah. be, you know. be bigger than hag-sized. Well, there you go. Enormous. <laughs> what if he eats the hag? Yeah. Well, Nature. Dog, dog gets his vengeance. Let nature yeah, exactly. take it. Yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Yeah. Sorted. Exactly. To the visitor centre. To the visitor centre? This is great. To the visitor centre. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> yes, uh, you return to the visitor centre. Um, yeah, yeah, unless there's any other business. I mean, Luke, are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're a group. If everyone's happy, I'm happy. I'm, I'm not happy 100% though. happy, okay? I just yeah. want to show you're not completely on your own. But also, like, Terry is, like, a, a tiny monster, an adorable monster. Meryl, but I, are you addressing Dob? Yourself. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Look, honestly, you're talking to somebody who used to be a hunter. Like, I used to do what she did. You ate children. <laughs> <laughs> you little children into Damn. your bone cave and feasted on their marrow. Really, Marilyn? Gosh, <laughs> no. You, cra- you cracked their bones twist. and drank their marrow? No, I hunted animals. <laughs> yeah, baby. People are animals. People are animals. The greatest game of all, Marilyn. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they all come about me? I'm not a hag. So you're having this conversation while you're heading back to the visitors. Yeah. Um, a real pre-hag over here. 
Cool. Uh, great. Well, you um, you return to the visitor centre outside. Um, you see Suzette uh, with sort of like a measuring tape, kind of measuring, uh, sort of like a quite a tall, sort of like almost beaked kind of down. So it's a gallimimus, basically. It's just kind of standing there. Suzette's just kind of like lifting up the sort of gums, <laughs> like well, the, the, the lips trying to check it, sort of checking on the um, on the uh, gallimimus. He goes, oh, hello, thwack, and it runs off into the bushes. Uh, how'd he go? Job well done. We're well, yeah. Yep. We found, Terry's a, happy. We found a good home for <laughs> um, Terry. I'm sensing quite a lot of sarcasm. No, no. 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 Is there something on here for passive aggression? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but you're rolling high. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she's she's your sister. She's instantly picked up on it. Be like, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. eaten dog? Uh, well, yet. not a hag. Uh, <laughs> she's eating children. Yeah. Um, a hag. You, there's a there's a hag on the island. Oh. There used to be people that lived here, uh-huh. but she ate all their children. Okay, um, Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. Um, she, she can try though. Hasn't done it for seventy years. Yeah. She oh, she nice. learned she learned her nice. lesson nice. because yeah, all the humans. But probably a lesson now. about yeah. eating all the children. Okay. Yeah. Now well, she's a manageable number. All well, the children's not all the children, is it? No. Yeah. It's it's right right. Oh no, she did eat all the human children, but she oh. doesn't now eat all the children of all species. It was a teachable oh. moment. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think she yeah. she cycles through the different species, so yeah. a bit of rabbit, one Sustainable. month, a bit of uh, yeah. Oh, we okay. deer uh, the I next. think we really gave her quite a lot to think about when we gave her a pet dinosaur and left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was the terrace, right? It's a terrace. Yes, yes. That's yes, fully yes, fine. Yes, yes. They're happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Terry, so Terry, 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 Terry's happy. Yeah, Terry's so happy, I'm happy. So I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, everyone's happy. Okay. Everyone's happy. Great. Okay. I don't know why everyone keeps asking me if I'm happy. <laughs> Dob, do you want to go back and get the hang? No. Like, no. be honest. No. Dob. Dob. Would you like some cake? Yes, actually, that would do. Denise! <laughs> <laughs> Denise comes out like... <sighs> cake! Thank you, darling. You want cake? Yes, mm. cake for Dob yeah. and everyone. We'll all have. You'll have cake. Will we have cake? Yeah, if oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. little sandwiches. Cake and some little sandwiches. She just points a finger at the picnic you have with you. Picnic? <laughs> 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 we forgot about the picnic. We forgot all about the picnic. Well, this will have gone stale by now. So if you could cut something, some new. Sure. Sandwiches. Yeah. No. Yeah. Fresh picnic. Can, can I? Can I go and help Denise? Can I help her? I was like, Denise, would you like a hand? Because this is clearly not in within your job. Because role. you're clearly not doing a good yeah. enough job. <laughs> no, that's yeah, can you show her how to do it properly? Stop twisting my words. Thank you very much. No, you're right. Please. It's not in my remit. Uh, would I like some help as I do it anyway? No. I'm just trying to. I'll bring you some cake. Denise is so she ungrateful. Goes, Add that to her list of yeah. poor qualities. Yep, she goes inside. All right. Uh, and, and heads off back to the kitchen. Well. Yeah. Uh, so cool. So Terry successfully rehomed. Mm, excellent, think. excellent. I just want to, I just want to chat to Hammy uh, before I head off. Make sure everything's okay. okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gone. It's gone yeah. pretty well. I saw an ant near the picnic. So. It's ruined. <laughs> it's ruined. It's the circle of life. A bee was there. A bee was near. <laughs> a bee looked at the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I can't um, ignore the possibility that the bee may have gone on the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, in relatively short order, Denise comes out with a, a, an identical picnic basket and puts it down and goes, I'll just take the other one, away, shall I? I think you better had the bee looked at it. Oh, we can't have that, can we? She picks that up and goes back inside. I'm so sorry. She's all right. She's in bit. She's probably Oh, fine. your brachiosaurs nearly oh, ready, by the way. Oh, oh cool. cool. All right, I cheer right up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, there is a picnic. <laughs> Open the picnic. Yeah. There's cake in it. There's little sandwiches. It's delightful. There's yeah. crockery. Has a bee looked the at lid. any of it? Hmm? Has a bee looked at any no of it? No bee has looked at any of it. Bees Sweet. have no idea that this picnic exists right now. <laughs> Bees are extinct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they all got eaten Is there a blanket? <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. Oh, that's lovely. Right. Yeah. Laying everything down. Just in front of the visitor centre. <laughs> <laughs> we had the whole park, but here. Yeah. Here we shall <laughs> picnic. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a cafeteria, isn't there, like, <laughs> in through that door, where we were before. Yeah, yeah. we're in the, the cafeteria. Ooh, cafeteria. Ooh, indoor, indoor picnic! picnic. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, the cafeteria is still, like, covered in glass from, like, the pterodactyl oh, yeah. incursion, but that's fine. <laughs> so we just put the blanket over, over the glass. glass. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. great. Uh, you really sit down, easy. it's a little crunchy, but uh, <laughs> it's fine. Just wiggle in. Yep. Um, Lovely. And Hammerdale kind of, after a small world pops up, like, I can smell tuna and cucumber. Yeah, sit down, tuck in, it's all bee free. I will. He sits down. 
Now, <laughs> I'm a doll. <laughs> yes, if I might say so. Yes. Have you had a particularly tiring day? It's just I remember this morning before we set out, you seemed so full of vim and vigor. Yes. Uh, and now, I mean, if, if you don't mind my saying, you look like you could use a... Sandwich? A long, I'd love a sandwich. That. Yeah. A long, a long sandwich. A long sandwich. A long pork sandwich. Oh, yes. A long yes. Stuart and cucumber sandwich. Oh, no, yes. Today, I you weren't hungry, but then eight hours later, you are. <laughs> yes, I suppose that is a little strange. It's all curious. Um, yes. Why, is there something on your mind? I just worry that the, 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 the building this park is taking a, a toll on on you. It's just, well, it seems to be wearing you pretty thin is all. Oh, you are getting on a bit, Hammy. You do, you do need to take it easy, you know. Well, it is a oh, lot of work, but I have some dedicated staff. There's Astatine. Astatine does a great job. There's Suzette. Yeah. You know? And some, you know, just sort of between those two, everything gets done. What about D Denise? Oh, yes, uh, but yes, of course, there's Denise as well. Denise works here, sure, why not? Why? Why? <laughs> was, was it, uh, what did Denise say now? What did she do? <laughs> what no, she no, said she, now? She was, she was wonderful. I just, I oh. just see, I just see that she is... The crusts are still not, on these sandwiches. Oh, yeah. heavens. No, she's Denise! Denise! Not being yeah. Fresh sandwiches! I Longer! I... <laughs> no crusts! <laughs> Denise, Merylwen has some constructive feedback for your... <laughs> no! The I elf doesn't like the sandwiches! <laughs> Bring fresh ones! No! Now! No, it's not. I don't think that her talents are being properly utilised here. Yeah, she thinks you're ah, just suck. I get it. You're an awful cook, Denise! No! <laughs> the druid said so! No! <laughs> you, no, you're right. I must be sterner with Denise. No! You need to be nicer to her! Why? She's doing an awful job, apparently. No, she's not! She's not! She's... She's not doing the job that I think She's that she doing should be doing. <laughs> You're not fit to be in a kitchen, Denise, says the elf. Meryl when. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't want to be in the kitchen. Okay, well, why'd she take the job off? <laughs> I don't think that was the job that she took or that she thought she was taking. Okay, well, why is that my problem? Because you probably didn't put the description down properly. What description? The job description. When you're like looking for posts when you advertise the job. Yeah, well, yes, I said research assistant wanted. Yeah, res research assistants help to assist with research. Yeah, well, no, to assist, assist me in research. doing research. I can't be making sandwiches. It'll take away time from research. Oh my god. What does this mean? <laughs> Denise comes out with a platter of extremely long fingers <laughs> and places them rever reverentially in front of Merylwen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please know that I appreciate you and all that you do, and I can see your potential and you're being wasted here, honestly. God, that's so sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> she turns and leaves. Why is everyone burning <laughs> Merylwen today? <laughs> Much better. Oh, delightful. Uh, could you hold the other end of this? Sorry. He's just going to start like... <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're right. doing it. Am Feeding I... it in. Sure. Yeah. I'll just push from this end. Cars now, on, I believe on. Denise Jam might have... He's uh, somehow managing to talk around a, an endless mouthful of sandwich. Just push the last bit. And then, uh, thank you so much. Yes. Ah. Fine. Anyway, um... I I, uh, I I believe uh, you asked me for a brachiosaur. Yes, yeah. I did. Well, that's why I'm looking a little bit peaky. It turns out, do you know how many bones there are in a brachiosaur? Yep. Oh, well, it's a lot. <laughs> isn't it? I think it's a lot. Do you think it's a lot? Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, could yeah. be more. They're also quite big. Could, could be. we add in a few extra could bones? Be a few more in there. I suppose we could. Uh, we'd have yeah. to talk to Astatine, but um, do you have any wing bones? Um, uh, we could do, I suppose. Bone wheels. Would you want some wings? I don't know if. Denise makes good wings, but we can make Denise make some wings. Well, I mean, you must have, like, uh, a what carried off our friend, what was his name? Egg, 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 Edward. Edward. Something, Edward. Eggwood. Eggwood. <laughs> what carried off Eggwood? It was like a... Oh, that. Oh, the pterodactyl, yes. The pterodactyl, Yes, right. I've, I've discovered, uh, I've discovered his, his whereabouts. Um, yeah, no, uh, no, 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 we'll talk about that later. Oh, okay. <laughs> the wings of the thing that carried off Eggwood. He's mostly <laughs> unharmed. Could that... Please, oh, so, Sorry, yes, you were talking about Eggwood. Yeah. Um, yeah, could the... Could the <laughs> I could have sworn that wasn't his name, but if you say so. <laughs> could the could the could could pterosaur could pterodactyl wings be attached to the brachiosaur? Uh, 
too late in the process? Assuredly, no, we could. I, I, I had asked him not begin the ritual because I assumed you'd want to see your brackets all being built. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, where'd you, so where'd, yeah. where'd you want them? You pick the custom options as you put them together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I, now, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> when we're talking like interiors and... That's not a problem, but I, I, I just feel I should forewarn you these will not make the brachiosaur capable of flight. They're more like spoilers on a chariot. Right, okay. So you could have them sort of in the customary place on the back. Yeah. That look quite comical. On the tail, perhaps by the ears. Ah, forget it, forget it. Front of the bow tie. Oh, that's good. Ankles. Ankles. Winged ankles. Like a little Hermes kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Yeah. Let's let's head over there. And on the way, now the important business out of the way, I think you were telling us something about Edward. Yes. He's, well, he's been carried off to a nest. Uh, in a tree. Oh, he'll um, like that. Yes, he yeah. uh, he seems okay. He doesn't seem to have made any attempts to uh, to escape. Uh, he's being uh, forcibly fed chewed up fish uh, <laughs> roughly every 15 minutes. That sounds like... Oh, he loves yeah. that. Like, yeah, he's yeah, always talking about how idea. much he likes that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he's, um, he's getting on with most of his nest mates wonderfully. Oh, well, good. All's well that ends well. Yeah, they had a bit of, there was a bit of a tussle with one of them. Uh, I saw through... Uh, I've got a tremendously powerful telescope on top of the visitor center. Uh, he punched it in the face. Oh. Oh. But it's all right now, they're friends. Ooh, a bit Hammy. unpleasant. Yes, you're doing such a good job here. Everyone, everyone's getting on so well. All the animals are doing so well. Thank you know, I, I was wary of letting Terry Wowie, you know, of course. No, come I... here. And you've really shown that, that you are you're the best person to run this place. You're doing an excellent job. And Thank you I'm so much. I'll put subjects. that down on my next performance review. I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got a hag. You know that? Hmm? You've got a hag. I've got a hag. You've got a hag. Problem. Yeah, there's a hag on the hag. island. Oh, the hag has park problems. The hag was here. <laughs> Park's got a hag problem. Um, it, sorry, uh, what, do, what do you mean? There's a hag. Uh, She's been living here. Okay. At least 150 years. Oh, goodness. So I think you might find that she owns the island, if not her cave. Squatters' rights. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean... I'm... But we've reached an accord okay. where... She will maintain the, you know, the ecological balance of the <laughs> island by not eating all of the children of any one species. All right. Um, that seems fine. Uh, I believe, you know, force majeure. Uh, I'm not going to... She's not going to form any legal uh, challenge to Doesn't me being like on the her. island. And uh, she wouldn't win in any case. So that uh, that all seems fine. Do, was she nice? Yeah. Very pleasant. Yeah. Terence yeah. liked her, so oh, well, Terrence I liked think her. that's, Terrence that's, liked her. that's the on. important yeah. fact. She Go does sometimes eat place. humanoid children, but more importantly, well, Terence well, likes her. Terence liked her? Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. She's gone great with Terence. Okay, good. Maybe don't let any children there. Well, we don't have any children on the island. Oh. Yet. And now you know why. This well, is going to be me, <laughs> right? What do you mean? Well, I, I just think so many people will be so interested in this this wonderful thing you've created, seeing all your, this brachiosaur. Oh. Oh, you know, I hadn't considered having visitors to the island. Well, I think people might want to come and, might want to come and see, you know, get a little, little tour like we had. They would probably pay you money for it. Learn a little something about preservation along the way. See a hag. Oh, educational really? experience. It is, it's education, yes. And we could reintroduce human children into the world. <laughs> no, no, no. No? Not with the hag here, no. Okay, all right. Well, we'll hunt the hag for no. game. <laughs> Make it an adults only resort. Yeah. All right. Oh, yes. Ah! A Margaritaville! We can have a Margaritaville! <laughs> yes! Oh, this is such a good idea. Oh my goodness. Fandango, where would I be without you? Oh, oh. Well, I think we shall have a margarita and watch Astatine make a brachiosaur, why not? Yeah! yeah. Denise! Margaritas! It's Mark time! <laughs> a Mark Tower, if you'd be so kind. Could you feed me another sandwich? Happy to. Corazon, why does why Corazon share that with you? It's quite, it's quite long for, for one yeah, person. Corazon, if, you, if you, have, you want to take over duties, I'm happy to. <laughs> no, 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 this is kind of weirding me out. You keep it. <laughs> want to get on board if you want some. I'm reaching the halfway point. <laughs> the halfway point. So gingerly take a bite out of the side. Oh. <laughs> no. It's all right, tuna. What have we like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, who's for a brachiosaur then? Yeah, yeah. I want to see this yeah. brachiosaur. All right, uh, leave all this. Denise will clean up. Um, and he, uh, <laughs> I sweep everything onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the floor at a picnic. Just the blanket. Yeah, the canteen is ruined. 
Yeah. Um, but he leads you uh, off down um, what is, you know, a familiar corridor. You've not been down here before. Um, but he leads you into sort of like what seems not unlike a crypt. There's lots of sort of like spooky lights on the wall, you know, like candles and stuff. Yeah. Scary, scary candles. Have we, have we gone, candles. We haven't gone through the door, have we? No, you've not gone through the door. No, right. no that's the door. no. It's not. This no, is just, not this the, where we were before. Yeah. He walks yeah. past. He he bustles past that oh, okay. as if to avoid being asked about it. It's just like duh, 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 and then sort of. Yes, well, so walk, I just sort of. Are there any gaps I can just sort of crane as we go? I'm just interested. Uh, uh, make me a charisma. Pers- not charisma. Uh, wisdom perception check, please. So this is kind of a quick glance. 19. That's a sturdy door right there. That is airtight. Hmm. And it has a very large, very elaborate lock. Okay, like a, a mechanical lock, or is it? Yeah. As, well, as far as you can tell, yeah. But it, it looks pretty... Uh, a sturdy, sturdy door. Okay. Just um, mentally finding that info. Mm-hmm. Perhaps in your little journal. Um, it's so studious. Uh, right, so you're led into sort of a big crypt where a big space has been cleared on the floor and uh, a brachiosaur skeleton has been has been laid out. Hamadal is getting very excitable. It may be just because he's full of tuna, but um, <laughs> he's sort of like he's 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 full of, of vim and vigor. So, well, you know, we've wanted to assemble the brachiosaur for so long, but of course, with the problem with everything we brought back, having rabies, we thought. Perhaps bringing back the largest dinosaur we, we have and giving it rabies <laughs> might be bad. Mm. Uh, but now, of course, uh, thanks to a, a little bit of your blood. Scientific genius breakthrough, yes. Uh, we, we can, uh, it was a team effort. We can bring it back reasonably <laughs> secure that it won't have rabies. Reasonably? Yeah. No, it was spearheaded by the Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It does have spears on his head. It does yeah. have spears. Yeah. yeah. good. Uh, and now, re- re- remind me, you wanted uh, t- uh, pterodactyl wings. Ah, uh, no, it's, uh, it's a lo- unnecessary plastic. Are you sure? As if the brachiosaur... You put them here, give it a little moustache. Oh. <laughs> the brachiosaur doesn't need to be any more magnificent than it already was, I'm sure. And, oh, I quite agree, I quite agree. Well, uh, let's just uh, get a- Astatine uh, in here and we can start the show. Um, there is a, like, a bell. He's dong, gives like a you know funereal like, and there's a big pile of bones in the corner, uh, and basically just like a, a, a wizened sort of like crickety crackety like sort of crone man just goes <laughs> and stands fully upright, like he's like he's on a, a, a hinge. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Ah, oh, welcome. Welcome back. Um. I, uh, uh, sorry, I was napping. Uh, what? Well, uh, what do you want? Brachiosaurus. Yes, oh, duh, the Brachiosaurus. Rare. Of course, yes. Uh, I've just finished uh, coating it in the blood. Um, and, uh, uh, well, I suppose we're ready to start the show. Does anyone have any words for, um, before we begin? Dope. I'm gonna dedicate this Brachiosaur. Um, let, as I... I've always said, let's have more brachiosaurs. Mm. <laughs> a fine sentiment, a fine sentiment. <laughs> I've well, been thinking then. so much about whether or not we could that I haven't actually thought about whether or not we should. <laughs> oh, who's <laughs> got time to think about whether or not we should? <laughs> yeah. Here we go! And he goes... <laughs> <laughs> and you've seen this before, but um, Marjorie is quite disturbing. Um, Astatine starts sort of like basically snapping and breaking and reforming, and he sort of just kind of <laughs> transforms into a giant floating hand. Um, and then kind of, his fingers start kind of whirling. Yeah, and he sort of starts like, kind of toing and throwing over the skeleton. The bones start to kind of like, <laughs> like put themselves together. And slowly the skeleton starts to kind of form in the floor. It is already magnificent and it is just bones right now. But then as, as he kind of continues to do this weird conjuration thing, you see nerve endings kind of like bloom up from the bones and kind of like wrap around and um, you see like a vestigial eye starting to form way, way up there. And then sort of slowly from the inside out, um, the musculature of, uh, of a brachiosaur is, um, is formed. And then finally the kind of like, the skin just sort of comes up from the floor and wraps the whole thing. And um, because science can't definitively prove that they weren't like this, then hair starts sprouting from it everywhere, and it just goes, <laughs> and uh, it's woolly like a mammoth. But it's a big old brachiosaur, and it just goes, <sighs> whoa. 
Aren't you a cutie pie? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> this sort of it, it like it starts to move forward and then kind of. Um, hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> did, we, did we build it in a room big enough for it to get, to out, get out? out. <laughs> oh. Astatine kind of kind of turns back into uh, into his normal form and goes, well, the room is certainly big enough for the um, for the Brachiosaur, yes. Look, here it is. <laughs> but to get it outside, mm? is there a door? <laughs> oh, that's, that's not my business. I just bring them back to life. Bye. <laughs> and he just shuffles off Thank into you. a corner and... Okay. Oh, okay. Falls well, into a pile of bones. On but, the one hand, this isn't enough room for a Brachiosaur ah, in, is it in here. No, it... It does fit. It fits, but you'll notice it can't turn around or lower its head or uh, move. <laughs> On the other hand, want to do any of those it's things. only one minute old, so do we want to allow it out into the rest of the park where it may get eaten? <laughs> Might be funny. What's it going to get eaten by? The hag? Well. I'd like to see it try. It's, it's endangered. I would like to see it try. <laughs> <laughs> this is a reanimated adult. Oh, oh. yeah. All right. Oh, cool. Do you want to name it? Do you want to name it? It's your brachiosaur. Uh, yes. Go on, Ooh. form an emotional attachment immediately. Go on. Oh boy. <laughs> no, no, um, name it. No, you're right. You're right. If it weren't for you, if I'm, it weren't for you, none of this would be possible. Oh, well, I'm just going to take a moment to fully absorb that sentiment and let it just really sort of flood into my personality and, like, you know, become a core part of who I am and my self esteem. Uh huh. <sighs> um, I think I'm going to call you. Suzette too. <laughs> oh, well, okay. that's that's lovely. That is, ah, Suzette too. Yeah. You, know, you, you got a spare in case anything happens to the other one. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen to Suzette <laughs> or to Suzette. Ah, too. my long lost sister. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Well, How does Suzette feel about this? Is Suzette seem honoured or confused? Uh, oh yes, I suppose Suzette is, is in the room with you. Uh, yeah, no, Su Suzette has been in the corner just taking notes on a clipboard. When he says Suzette too, she just goes... <laughs> <laughs> love you, you love this for us. <laughs> Suzette too, yeah. <coughs> hmm? Yep. Yep. Ah, great. Well, uh, all right. We've got a trapped brachiosaur. Now, that's awkward. Let's mm. make a door. Um, yeah, let's smash down yeah. the, the walls and any other walls is, between here and the outside. Is, is is there is there a wall along this lab that goes straight outside to a safe, like, haven? Like a paddock or something. Uh, oh, I struggle to orient myself once I'm in, in a building. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, the wall it's facing... Uh, that definitely needs to stay up. Um, okay. <laughs> restricted area behind there. Very important. Keep that wall there. Uh, load bearing. Load bearing. Uh, this wall. This wall should be all right. If we we'll smash this one, we'll have to encourage the Brachiosaur to back up. Um, I don't know if they can walk backwards. Literally nobody knows. But uh, we could find well, out. Su Suzette, you're an, e an expert in all living things. Uh, yeah. Look at this brachiosaur. Does it look like it can walk backwards? Uh, you can study its legs and joints and stuff. You've seen yeah. the skeleton. I reckon you could make an estimate. Uh, well, I saw the musculature come together. Yeah, it, there's no reason it can't. Uh, it's just whether it <laughs> wants to or be smart enough to, I guess. Mm. So why don't we, i tell you what, we'll knock down the wall and then we'll... Um, Go from there. Poke it a lot or something. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll find a plan. tasty brachiosaur food in front of it. Yeah. All right. Um, could, could I would like to cast uh, stone shape oh. on the wall <laughs> okay. and create some grand large doors, perhaps with Ooh. like sconces either side. Mm. Okay. Cast <laughs> um, uh, stone shape, which is what I call hitting the wall with a sledgehammer. <laughs> 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 Let's see now. Yay, Torrid's just... unhelping. <laughs> okay, I or a section of stone. Um, so. You can absolutely do this. It is going to take you about eight hours. Whoa, really? Because <laughs> you can... It's a section of stone no more than five feet in any dimension. Okay. Oh. 
and then scale that up to you're making doors for a brachian store. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to take about eight hours, which is fine. Everyone else mm. can have a long rest. Or Corazon, if you want to, if you, we'll call it six hours if Corazon also has a sledgehammer, but you two will both be tired. Mm -hmm. Six hours of sledgehammering sounds like hard work. It does. It does. <laughs> Marjorie, do you okay, have you give up. It takes eight hours, but yes, you can stone shape it into some beautiful doors. Can I hit it with my riding crop? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> For eight hours? Them hitting Just... the stone makes it slightly shallower, so it goes <laughs> slightly faster in the sections that they've already worked All on. All right, it takes you seven hours and 50 minutes. Yeah, um, you melt. <laughs> so we'll call, it a, we'll call it a long rest for... Everyone else. Everyone else, yeah. Um, eventually, yeah, you've made some lovely doors. Yeah. L yeah, lovely big swing doors. Yeah. Wow, that is far less destructive than uh, than I expected. <laughs> and then, the, you know, your previous behaviour has led me to believe. Terrible mess you made in the canteen. Horrible. That, I think that was that Denise, was, That was... That was... Denise. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was the turret. That's until... going on her performance. Yeah. <laughs> Smashed in window of... <laughs> Cafeteria and disappeared a guest. Less pterodactyl shape in window. Terrible, terrible, awful, really. Um, well, uh, suppose Merwin. we'll get the brachiosaur back out now, shall we? Yeah, yeah. I think Melrose and Merwin should do the honours and mm -hmm. get these doors open. Can you chat yeah. to the brachiosaurus and just ask it? To me? Um, I will one? attempt to speak with animals on this non rabid dinosaur. Do we need to get you a long ladder? Oh, yeah. Um, or we could shout. Yeah. Bit rude, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just be yeah, you're right. Getting yelled at. <laughs> Wait. Uh, yeah, you can try it. Yeah. What challenge level is a pterodactyl? I'm just going to say yes. You can. You can become like a, a runty-looking pterodactyl. You can't. You can't become a full-sized one. But yeah. All right. Turn into a pterodactyl. All right. <laughs> and I go up to the dinosaur, up to the brachiosaur, and I'm like, hello. Um, you need to uh, back out through those <laughs> doors behind you. Do you think you can do that? Yes or no? What? Doors. Directly behind you. <laughs> so all you have to do Shuffle backwards, okay? Shuffle. Step or walk backwards. Oh. Sorry. I can't <laughs> grease, grease back. <laughs> 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 and if everyone just gives him a push, we can get him out of here. The brachiosaur takes one step back. Done it. And can you do that again? <laughs> and again. So you grease the floor. <laughs> it's, an op it's an option. Everyone okay. wants to help me put, give it a push. Why? Because yeah. yeah. then it's outside and you can go outside and that's where all the food is. <laughs> how, how far has this brachiosaur got right now? Ten foot? Grease. Grease it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it so. Yeah, there's there's grease all along the floor behind this. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. So stay still. Okay. And all right. I sort of Marjorie, we're gonna need some help. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, make a strength athletics yeah. check, please. Can Suzette join in as well? Yeah, of course, Suzette can join in. Suzette's rolled thirteen. One. 13. <laughs> all right. 11 plus. Eleven. Thirteen. There's also a one. Seventeen. Oh wow! <laughs> I <laughs> slip. We are <laughs> strong. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Both face Dob and Prudence, you both, you both lose your footing and go like <laughs> slip and slide, like belly flop straight down, and you're so greased up, you kind of fly a little bit across the grass. Oh, um, wee! Oh, that looks fun. <laughs> slowly, it's it is very very slow, but the brachiosaur does sort of start. <laughs> 
moving inch by inch so much that it's like barely perceptible. But it's like Does it like accelerate as the yeah. momentum increases? <laughs> more and more. Oh, no. I see you are a woman of science. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, it's it starts accelerating quite fast. Oh. Uh, oh. Meryl, when you just hear uh. Uh, <laughs> Um and I don't know what a pterodactyl laugh sounds like, but that's happening right now. Yeah, pretty much that, yeah. I oh, know it is exactly the same as your big high pitch laugh. Um now. You've all seen what happens when somebody on a skateboard rides into grass, right? Yeah. They just just instantly just... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Now, imagine that, but it's a brachiosaur. So it's kind of like, it's like... <laughs> and, the and then it's just... It at the moment. Yes, so I would like a dexterity saving throw, please, <laughs> from both of you. All right. Easy. Mm. I don't want to get squished. Do no. I have inspiration from last session? They yes. carry over, right? Sure, yeah, all it right. does. Well, let's say I'm going to use that. That's dexterity, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. 18. Oh, that was an 8. So, and this is a 11. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> Can I try and give Prudence a, a shove? Can I? Well, I don't know. I'm all greasy. <laughs> uh, Can I try and swoop? And mm, you can try it. Dex saving throw, please. Okay. I see a brachiosaur blotting out the sun. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that's a 19. Prince. Oh, okay. Oh, brachiosaurs will blot out yes. the sun. <laughs> Let's message Prudence and be like, I'm yeah. so jealous of how you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the deal. Um, Dob, yeah, you managed to sort of like scrabble out of the way and there's turn they're going, oh, <laughs> you're jealous of Prudence. Shouldn't have scrabbled. Um, <laughs> yours, Prudence, you're finding it hard to get purchase on the grass and kind of pull back. But luckily, I never believed that fortune teller when <laughs> said I was going to be crushed by a brachiosaur. I said, they're extinct. There's no way. <laughs> so that was a waste of one gold piece. <laughs> and here we are, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just picture prudence. It's my <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, a pterodactyl pulls you sort of most of the way out of the way, but okay. then a brachiosaur does just <laughs> land on you. Now, a brachiosaur's back is like famously mm. sort of curved. Okay. And we're going to say that if you picture an upside down brachiosaur, yes. its spine's going to hit the ground first, and then like its the, its sides are going to sort of come down. Okay. You're about here. Okay. And you are. Very greased up. Yes. So you're just like oh. a champagne cork, just <laughs> <laughs> fired into the undergrowth. Uh, yes, you are. Okay. Um, and uh, you are going to hit a tree. <laughs> um, oh. It is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. I'm injured and greasy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, um, the rolls weren't great, so you're going to take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. But you are up a tree. Yeah. Uh, oh, in the, oh, in the yeah, tree. You're oh, yeah. You are like in a tree. Now. Flipped upside down. <laughs> yeah. Well, Luck Prince is dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's an old, there's a, an old abandoned cart above you, and it yeah. might start falling through the tree at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> very, very precarious right now. Um. All right. Oh, oh boy! Says the well, we've got an upside down brachiosaur. Outside. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty bad first impression of outside. <laughs> Behold oh, the majesty get him right in. of nature. Yeah. All we have to do is get a very greasy brachiosaur <laughs> the right way up. Yeah. Do you have a degrease spell? Do I have an ungrease spell? <laughs> if I had an ungrease spell, don't you think I'd have used it by now? <laughs> I can true. clean. Prestidigitation there can clean. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Person only goes one Cuts way. Right well, good news, Meryl, when you're in for a long rest. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. Um, I'd like to try and like find some snacks for the brachiosaur, like some good foliage for it. So All right. Brachiosaur will probably a, get up itself. Make me an intelligence yeah. nature check to see right what Merylwen will intuit a brachiosaur likes to eat, given that one has not existed for millions of years. Okay, so that is a 15. All right. Um, you, you greatly uh, misjudge how into 
wheat and bread it's going to be. <laughs> but apart from that, you do a pretty good job. Like right. you, you bring it like a lovely bowl of like you know big salad stuff and. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, also, just like like three things of garlic fresh. <laughs> it's kind of like it lowers its its head and its nostrils up here. It's like, it's <laughs> unlimited breadsticks. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, unlimited garlic sticks. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, um, Hammerdahl kind of comes and goes. Well, good job, everyone. I see you're another adventurer down. But I still, I promise you, <laughs> Fandango, this park is Very absolutely safe. safe. Absolutely. Go, go right? check on Prudence, make sure she's yeah, okay. I'm in a tree. All right, and come I don't and help, know where I am. Yeah, I'll follow the sound of Prudence's voice. Yeah, this tree, right okay. here. I'm like following uh, the sound of Prudence's voice and also Corazon. There's nature everywhere. All right, oh, is it, it high enough to drop down? Can I catch her? Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are um, they're olive trees. Um, oh. So they're not really tall. Okay. Oh. Just in some kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so Prince is like. Well, it's, 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 it's tall, being a little it's tall, melodramatic. It's tall for an olive tree. But oh. yes, you are in, you are in some <laughs> sort of olive garden. Died in a minute tree. That's where you get it. You're, you're there eating yes. olive trees. <laughs> Exquisite. Yeah, you're, you're actually kind of doing okay. Well, okay. Like, all right. You're a bit dazed. No. Okay. I wiggle myself loose from the tree and go limp and just go, ugh. Right. Let's just... <laughs> uh, oh, it's too funny not to. Deck saving throw, please. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a 20. Hey! It's perfect. Like you've practiced it. There you go. Like you're doing a Lindy Hop routine. All right, we'll get Dob to patch you up. Yep. Ball for patching. I've taken brachiosaur damage. <laughs> I've taken olive damage. Cool. By which I mean I ate too many olives and my tummy hurts. <laughs> good. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, good job everyone. The brachiosaur's just in the olive garden and cool. yeah, absolutely fine. <laughs> okay. Is this it? But it's up, it's up no, right now. No, you didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. No. Mm. Yeah. I didn't see that came from. Yeah, that's right. Um, can it write it? Is it still upside down? Can it write itself? Uh, it's kind of like. Oh, let's give it a let's give it a push and try and turn it over. Oh, it could be a matter of like incentive. When I was living wild in the woods, I ate a lot of very hard to digest plants yes. in order to live. Mm -hmm. And what helped them go down smooth was to also eat gravel and small stones. So that it would all get ground up in my stomach into something like more a digestible. Case. Yeah, and you have teeth. Um, oh, that's <laughs> what. Ah, oh. <laughs> ah. for, yeah. uh. for, for for grinding up the f the food. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I did try and tell him. Uh, <laughs> just everything like a duck. <laughs> So I, I'm Sorry. thinking instinctively, if, yes. uh, if we could find some like really nice, small, smooth pebbles, this brachiosaur will, you know, that would be like the sweetest food to the brachiosaur. It'll be like, oh good, can't eat anything else till it's got some stones in its stomach. Okay. And that might turn make it, it how? turn itself the right way up. Well, yeah, because it, because it will... It'll really want the stones. Yeah, lunge for them and it'll really want them. Okay. okay. If you were lying on your back and mm. you really wanted to get up, you could. So the problem with this brachiosaur is it just doesn't want to be upright enough. Yep, so and we just have to motivate it. Put some it. sweet gravel on the left side of its body. Yeah. And we can get a lever, you know, like a big lever to yeah. jam it and kind of give it a hand. And a sturdy branch. Yeah, and a pivot. All right, everyone grab right, a sturdy branch. Lever. Who's on team lever? Who's on team pebble? Lever. Yeah, I'll grab a sturdy branch, get a lever under there. Cool, I'll be on team pebble. Join me on Team Pebble, Marge. Could give it a little tap. Yeah, just oh, give yes, it some encouragement. Or oh. <laughs> well, we could, or we could thrash it senseless with your, with your right. <laughs> 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 I don't. It's, it's an endangered species, but it's a combination. Of, of, <laughs> it's woolly, exactly. It's gravel and stick method. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, all at once. At all time. Okay. All right, Marilyn. Oh yeah, that's pebble. right. Pe pebble? Pe pebble. You're a dinosaur bird. Pebble, team pebble. Ah. Okay. Team pebble. Let's synchronize. All right. So uh, firstly, I'll need uh, an intelligence nature check to find pebbles. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the number you roll is the number of pebbles you find. Seven. Well, hey, you probably find more, six. but you've got a little grabby hands. <laughs> six. Yeah. You find six pebbles. Six so pebbles. including modifiers. Yeah. 
Modifiers, oh, of course, representing pebbles you already have. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Nature in... Oh, wait, no. Not You've got some pebbles, pebbles inside so It would be a 15. Oh, of course. Because that's how you... Oh, right. You found 15, 15 pebbles. Good. Yeah. All right. Six pebbles. Six pebbles. <laughs> Well, in fairness, Suzette's found six. She's not um, found many pebbles, but these are they're primo quality pebbles. Yeah. So I might just um, pop one of them myself. <laughs> oh, I see. I see how it is. Um, uh, and uh, we can get intelligence nature checks from Team Team Pry Bar as well. Okay. To try and find some stuff. Eighteen. Mm, lovely. Fifteen. Great. Ah, oh, these are top quality pry bars. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah. And a pivot of some sort, like a. I don't know, like a big branch or um, yeah. a rock. Mm. A rock, yeah, cool. A pointy Great. rock. A very pivoty <laughs> rock. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. pivoty, pointy rock. There we go. Just the thing. Cool. What yes, about the senseless thrashing? <laughs> just, I, I, I would like to find a, a just gentle spot on its rump. Yep. Nicely padded where I can just... Where, can, Great. where it can be thrashed senseless. <laughs> <laughs> Gently. <laughs> senseless. It needs its senses to realise yeah. it needs to get up. Of course. It's very just to the point of being senseless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well then, um, <laughs> I would like a charisma performance check from Team Pebble to make these pebbles seem particularly delicious. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. And I would just like a strength athletics check okay. from it's Team Pry Bar. Oh. And well, I suppose just just yeah, just roll me that attack with the with the with the whip. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Twenty-six. <laughs> Whoa! Brachiosaurus dies. <laughs> you whip it in twain. Uh, so twenty-six. Uh, Nineteen on the. Sixteen. Okay. I'd like to just uh, basically just have the pile of pebbles in front and just be like. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so oh, you've fine. only got three left. <laughs> Yeah, I'm full leg on. Our choice. Scarcity. Uh, it is it a line, but it's a very long lever. Mm. I got Science. A 14. Yes. 14. But um, it's a very short lever. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I... God, that was good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I rolled badly, but here's why I nailed it. And I, you know what? I'm into it. Sure. Um, yeah, Prudence, you are like a, you're like sixty foot away. <laughs> it's a very long <laughs> leap. Um, I'm but, so far from this fulcrum, <laughs> I say, as I pull down. Yeah, you have to yell it because otherwise, only he. Physics. So, Physics. Um, yeah, it's so the the whole pebble thing. It's like the the bracket's is like ooh, and has already started kind of committing weight that way, and then Team Prybar kind of pops it up on its legs just in time for like. <laughs> it's like the, the, the sky opens. As, <laughs> <laughs> you whip this thing, it goes <laughs> and just stampedes off into the distance. Uh -huh. Like the the earth is shaking underneath mm. you as this thing just just cheeses it. Like mm. you see trees oh, going no. flying as it is, it just <laughs> like tears through them. Oh, um and yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's, it's booked it. All right. Um, Dog, have a dog. Your, your breath oh, is escaping. <laughs> I, uh, well, it's, it's uh, Suzette 2. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, Suzette, the, the, I think the idea was always that Suzette 2 would live in, in the wild and yeah. maybe just occasionally submit to being ridden around by me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but Suzette, Suzette 2 has only just been born, so, you know. Yeah, it's, it's like, so far, it seems like. Uh, She's had absolutely uh, no experiences that would make her wary of being around you again. So that's yeah. fine. You could probably, yeah. yes, go greet her as an old friend. I'm pretty I'm sure it'll all be fine. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, well, that was all very exciting. Uh, and I've eaten so much tuna I might pass out. So I might go for a <laughs> nap, personally. Uh, but all of you are uh, uh, well, free to do what you will, really. Okay. Uh, will you you'll be staying for dinner at least? Oh, of course. San Dango? Oh, well, yeah, I've got quite a lot of uh, other little, like, orphan creatures back at the manor to oh, look okay. after, but um, All right. maybe for some more maybe for some more tuna sandwiches and uh, sure. cake, maybe. Oh, yes. Hold on. Oh, I'm barking <laughs> up the wrong tree there. Yeah. I'll go I'll go fetch you some cake. Don't worry. I'll have a, I'll have a quiet word. I'll have a quiet word with you, Jason. That would be best. Um, <laughs> you see, he just walked back into through the massive double doors that you've made me. Denise! Denise, come here! Um, and you're sort of like you're freewheeling right now. What do you want to do? Is Hi. is um um hang on. 
Hammerdahl mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> going to actually going to take a nap. Yeah. Do we see him heading to the residential yeah. sort of quarters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a house sort of attached to it. He's going to go for a little nap nap. Who um, wants to check out his secret lab? You want to sniff around the secret laboratory? I mean, it's got something going on in there. What if it's shady business? Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be shady business. I mean, Hamadal's a very well-respected member of the community. We've all obviously seen the uh, excellent work he's done here, although I wouldn't mind a tour of the behind-the-scenes area, I must say. Well, we could take ourselves on a little self-guided tour. Ooh, I want to yes. get a read on this from Suzette. Suzette, you ever seen behind the restricted access doors? No, he's the only one who gets back there. Do you want to... In danger my continued employment by breaking into a restricted area I've been, I've been expressly forbidden to go in? Do, do you want that? Not particularly. No, I thought you were going to say no from the way you do said the question. I, <laughs> am I willing to turn a blind eye to what you're doing? Mm. I mean, ordinarily I would say no, but I'm sort of getting the feeling... I mean, you've always been impulsive and strong-headed, and your friends, with all respect, seem like classic enablers. So I don't much feel like I, know, I can stop you even if I appeal to our familial bond as formerly estranged siblings. So yeah, I'm going to enablers. go and do something else somewhere Why don't you, uh, far away. Help Denise make some cake. Oh, she could use the help. Oh, we uh, could use some cake. Dismal. Sure, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, no, lovely, uh, great. You know what? Denise could use the afternoon off. I'll go make some cake, and um, this conversation never happened. Bye. Cool. Um, that was weird. I just had a chat with Suzette, and then at the end, she said it never happened. <laughs> so <laughs> something's wrong with Suzette. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> uh, I mean, Suzette one. <laughs> no, <laughs> Suzette. Suzette two. Ah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's... So, from the outside, um, can we sort of get an idea of which part of the building contains this this secret room from our moving around? Yeah. So, if you imagine, um, you've got, like, the visitor centre, you are outside of the double double doors that Merylwen made. Yeah, with the flaming sconces either side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say they're they're probably inlaid, but I don't know what the pattern is. It's probably like Meryl and surrounded by animals. <laughs> <laughs> We're surrounded by pterodactyls. So yeah, you've got a shrine to Meryl then, beyond which is a necromancer's crypt. Sure. Mm. Um, and then kind of that wall is like very long um, and you just know that that whole wall is like secret lab bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then of course you've got the cafeteria there and you know that's where the, the door is. Yeah. Next to the crypt. And then there's some other other rooms and stuff. Just trying to determine if that door is this singular entrance. I see. If there are any windows, any sort of ventilation shafts, any kind of fire exits. As far as you are aware, that is the only okay. entry point. Um, what, what if there were a sort of five foot hole in in this wall here mm-hmm. that, that then later on disappeared? Oh, gosh, could, that'd be odd. Make it, yeah, yeah, with like a little. Say no more, I say, picking up a switch. (laughs) (laughs) Um, That could... uh, People could be... That could arouse suspicion, though. Like, I think we need a... a, (laughs) I think we need a... Marjorie. Yes. Two questions. Yes. One. Why does uh, Hamadol call you Fandango? It's my, it's my, it's our nickname from when we were were in the club together. Uh, He's Hamadol, I call him Hammy. I'm Margaret's uh, Clip Fangle. Fang, 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 yeah. so, so you two go way back. Oh, yes, yes. So, like, everyone around here, pro- like, does everyone around here kind of, like, trust you? They know that you're Hammerdale's friend? And oh, yes, yes. Like well, that. you know, obviously, I know I know right. De- uh, Denise. So you could get some staff for... Well. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. So you wow. could get some, like, staff talking, like, create a little d- distraction, potentially, like... I'm saying if we you just... we have a conversation with the staff? <laughs> I would never. I would never. I would never. I would never ever. Good point. <laughs> I suppose what I'm thinking is like we're sort of a sort of like unknowns around here. Like people probably don't fully trust us, right? Mm. So, but I mean, Astatine isn't here. Uh, Denise has now got the afternoon off because Suzette gave her the afternoon off. Mm. Um, no Hammerdahl, one else works here. No one else works here. Hammerdahl's gone off. Mm. To, so we are. No one's here. We're, we're alone, right? Where we are. You are being approached by Denise, who is carrying a three-tiered carrot cake with sort of a dead-eyed expression towards you. Carrot? Oh, actually, 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of carrot. Just generally. <laughs> <laughs> just. She just oh, up and okay. okay, well, that's a mess now. Didn't need to be made. Well, Suzette gave in the afternoon off, and it seems like you're planning something. Are you planning to screw over Hammerdale? <laughs> Ham, is my, Ham is one of my uh, oldest friend and respected members of the community, so I hope not. Okay, so you're not. Are you? I am, yeah. Mm. I mean, oh, we, cool. we, great. Yeah. great. Okay, I've been, right, meaning to, board. Right. I've been meaning to take this place and uh, everything it's got for ages. He's horrible to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can tell just watching you two interact. Yeah, so. I was going to steal his greatest research and hide it in this bar of shaving soap. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> well, sounds good. <laughs> I'm into that. Cool. Well, I have to ask, Denise, why did you say you could make cakes and tea and stuff when you, are, when you clearly can't? I didn't. Okay. I, I mean, a, a, I can. It's, it's right there. Sure you can. It's on the floor now. Someone doesn't like carrot. It's delicious. That's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. I've got two good. PhDs. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is. What is it in Gaff? PhD. <laughs> so, pretty uh, hard degrees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're just like normal degrees, daggers. but it's actually pretty hard. They make oh, you write really? your final exam left-handed. <laughs> Uh, as long as you're left, uh, right-handed, if you're right-handed, then you're right with your left. Mm. Yeah, I didn't understand any of that. But do you know how to get through this door? Well, yeah. Uh, great, Denise I, goes out. Great. Well, I know well enough that the only way to really get through is with the key, because it's a really great door. Uh, caveats, asterisks. He'd, he'd spent, like, th- his first three years funding money, he'd spent solely on that door. Oh. Mm. So uh, where's the key? Well, it's on his person. It's always on his person. There's only the one key. So but he's napping. S- we need to seduce some Need is a huge word. <laughs> you want to know? You, you want to know what I, other things? I need to seduce Hamadal. It would also be good if we could get the key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elka is on. Who am I to stand in the way of progress? Um, I can also use stone shape to create keys. Stone key. Yeah. But how would we know what the key looks like? Well, if if we kind of if I could get a look at it, huh? So we need Wait. to look at the key. I mean, if we're looking at the key. Yeah. We don't just have the key. Also, it seems like the kind of thing that, like, if it's years and years of research, this isn't going to be something that we can just, like, crack with lockpicking tools or something. Yeah, you're telling me that you can just insert a piece of stone into the lock and then make it form the shape of the key in in a negative space and then kind of turn that to unlock the door? I mean, I probably can do that. Right. (laughs) Rather than having to look. Can I use detect magic on the door? (laughs) Is it? Is it a mechanical lock, or is it a magical lock, or is it a bit of a... Both. Ah. There's a magical property to the key, probably. Also, uh, Denise says, but... Oh, that seems dangerously straightforward. Mm. I kind of assumed it would take us at least 15 minutes. (laughs) 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 But but that's totally fine as well, if you do just want to get straight in there. uh, I guess I'm cool with that. I'm Denise. (laughs) I'll do what I want. If he's napping, it'll be it'll be simple to get yeah. into his chambers. And yeah. we also should factor in like we can't risk getting this wrong because if we set off an alarm, that's it. He'll never yeah, trust us again. He'll nail yeah, never. it'll bring down all the brackets. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, stone shaping a tunnel might it might trigger something trigger that's something inside. inside. Yeah. Look, I've obviously I've worked here for quite a long time. I've seen him go in and out of there quite a bit. Um, he. He has the key and he turns it in the lock, but there's some sort of passphrase. Mm. And he sort of leans in and he whispers to it. I don't know. It's it's like it's like he uses a magic <laughs> wand or something and it just gets him in. Okay. So I don't know what that phrase is. He's, he never told me. If I could remember the name of his childhood pet. Yes. It's probably that. <laughs> or his mother's maiden name. Right? The street he grew up. <laughs> right. I whisper at the door. Flea circus. <laughs> the door says error melting all ice cream in cafeteria beep 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 thanks a lot dog oh, I was looking forward to that ice cream the ice, the ice cream uh, fridge which has previously been mentioned and established starts yeah. steaming uh, as all the ice cream boils Chekhov's ice cream fridge comes <laughs> back <laughs> Uh, we shouldn't okay. have had rice for lunch. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> we got to um, get that key. All right, let's go over to Hammerdale's quarters and right. scope, scope, it, scope his zone. Scope his zone? Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fandango, you're Hammerdale. Can we all call you Fandango's zone again? 
Yeah, we're all right. You're oh, all right. No, we're all friends. Yeah, yeah. We're all mates now. Although I, I'm not so sure about the whole, you know, you, you seem to want to, like, take, was something like taking Hanny down? Was that, did I? I think, yes. I think it's just like, I think it's just like a peg or two. Only if he's doing bad things. Oh, a peg or two. Yeah, that's, just a peg or two. We love, we love that. You know, that's yeah. always good to know. Oh, do you know what it is? It's horse play. It's a prank. Oh! It's a classic prank. It's a jape. It's a jape. Well. I wow. want to run him into the ground and destroy everything he's ever built. Yeah, yeah Denise, is, Den- <laughs> Denise, is a, Denise is a wag. Yeah, it's like, you know, a, a rolled up towel in the golf club showers. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. all right, all right, well. Yeah, if I beat him to death with a rolled up towel. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Jape. Denise, run it so hot. Okay. okay I, won't, I won't say anything. I'll, I'll keep it yeah. under wraps. All right. Well, I think, like, Fandango, you probably should spearhead this operation because if he wakes up, is it so weird that you would come and visit him in his in his private? Which is weird, yeah, actually. Yeah. Well, that you it's mentioned a bit, bit weird. Is it as weird as any of us? I suppose apart from Corazon, who has been I flirting. I mean, I didn't like... want to say, but I was picking up a vibe. Surely it's it's like when you two were at boarding school together and you used to bunk in and watch each other sleep. No, is that just my oh. school? <laughs> <laughs> just going to boarding school. This is my boarding what school. Happened? Oh. No. Unusual. It is now, I think, about yes. it. Yes. Listen, I need to make a cover story as to why you're all disappearing. I'll go tell Suzette and... Brachiosaurator. Uh, no, no, no. Don't involve Suzette in No, that's what I'm lies. saying. No, I'm giving her plausible deniability. I want to go tell her that I'm off to go do something, and I'll take you, take you with We're me. We're going to go and then. kill a hag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah something no, like that. never believe that. Who okay. would kill a hag? Who would kill a hag who's eating <laughs> all the human Just, children? Listen to me. Go down that corridor. Eaten. Just go down that corridor, <laughs> no, second actually. door on the right, that's the entrance to his private apartment. I'll meet you there in two minutes. Okay? Okay. 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 Um, she sort of runs off to the kitchen and just makes a really bad show of giving a cover story. She's like, I'm going to the vending machine. Um, I'm gonna, no, I'm just gonna go do something harmless with the, the, the other adventurers. It's really denising it up. Really taking my time up. Yeah. Okay, cool. I fixed that thing, by the way. Yeah, she's, she's, she's book smart, not street smart. <laughs> She turns up, like, got it. We're we here. Yeah, <laughs> Nailed it, Denise. <laughs> okay, now, um, it, uh, one thing you should know, uh, uh, Hamadal's got to, like, uh, he's, mm, he's got pets. Uh, we'll call them dogs. Sure. Uh, so, uh, no, but they're like, I, I, I think they're kind of like guard dogs. So we should, we should be yes. careful. Yes. Okay. So, I have chicken. We got chicken. <laughs> So, so, like, defense is overwhelmed. <laughs> 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 I was quite, look quite stacked, but it is largely chicken. Largely fillets. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, um, I guess as long as everyone's ready, in we go. Here we go. Um, she kind of opens the door and sort of like <clears throat> creaks. There's a long corridor with like a plush red carpet and there's some nice... Mm paintings and stuff is all very fine. Uh, you notice this is actually sort of, it, there are themes to this decoration that are, are like a pastiche of his childhood home. Oh. Oh. Um, he does seem to have a soft heart after all. Um, and like, Denise waves you in and then shuts the door quietly and it's like, shh. Uh, because she uh, points down um, the, uh, points uh, down the corridor and sort of just stepping through a doorway um, is, uh, well, Prudence, have you ever seen an abyssal chicken? Mm, oh, yes. Okay. Very familiar. So abyssal chickens. In we'll start time. with the legs. Imagine a pair of chicken legs, right? And now imagine just like a face sticking out from like the the middle of those legs. No, I won't, thanks. It's kind of blind. <laughs> it's like they don't have eyes. You imagine um, it. <laughs> but they've got just like, nah, 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 just like big, like, Teeth. Oh God! Um, uh, yes, do, like, I can't cast animal friends. <laughs> no, you all remember the um, the 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 classic tale of uh, the evil that resided, uh, <laughs> and the liquors from yeah. from mm-hmm. that uh, folk tale. If you imagine that, but like instead of a brain, it's like smooth here, and then kind of like. So you've got like you've got legs, you've got head, and then kind of coming up from here, it's just like they just end in a big sort of like comb like spike, but it's actually a couple of wings. Oh. They'll be like. Pfft, Delicious, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So, abys- abyssal fried chicken is my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> AFC. Yeah. Um, After a night on the run. So uh, yeah, they uh, they can fly. Um, they 
can uh, they have blind sight up to thirty foot, but they're blind beyond this radius. Are they uh, demonic or monstrous? They are. They are tiny fiends, little demons. Little fiends. Little fiends. Little, just little guys. Just little guys. How, um, how, tall, tall, how tall, roughly? I think they're tiny. Okay. That's what size for chicken. Oh right. Okay. It's oh. Like, it's well, steps what does Corazon like, do to chicken? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm, I'm known for it. You are famously a, a chicken kicker, yeah, yeah, I suppose. But I'm not sure I want to kick this thing. It's got a lot of teeth and such. Mm. Comes a chicken, I say, pushing Corazon towards the <laughs> chicken. You can do it. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Also, we don't want to alert it. It's a guard chicken. It's a guard chicken. Yeah, mm. it will alert. It's Probably its knees will start screaming or something. Yeah, it'll mm. I don't know, get raise the alarm. Okay, bright mm. ideas. Who's got it? Can you do anything demonic to this demon? I could. How many of them are there? Just um, Denise goes. What? Yeah. I mean, I could banish them, but only one at a time. <laughs> it's gonna take too long. Uh, How to I'd sneak like, past seven chickens? I'd like to pass past without trace on everyone again. Very nice. Yeah. All right. So Good. I'm gonna try and sneak us. past these chickens. Well. They, and this one is heading towards you. Back at the um, manor, if you leave the door open, they do wander off. That's the trophy. Yeah, let's there. just all step away from the door <laughs> and leave the door open. <laughs> just on the side. Yeah, let's all get behind a curtain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe a deck stealth check, everyone. Genius, We will yes. have to account for where the chickens are missing, but... We'll just well, tell Hamadal that he must have left the door yeah. open when he... Uh, I'm trying a different dice. Just, yeah, it's a, 20. it's a 20. Oh, man. Okay, you roll a 20, you roll a 20. So, so that, oh, th- 31. Ah, <laughs> a one. A one. Plus 10. 11. 11. Oh, okay, fine. Three. What was the roll? Stealth. Uh, yes, it's Dex Dex stealth. Dex stealth, plus 10. Dex stealth, plus 10, 20. Right, okay. hmm. Not natural. 18. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to say you pass the stealth check, but... I mean, I'm not going to let a one go without passing comment on it in some way. <laughs> you see, as you as it goes past, you see it, and you're like, "That is disgusting," and like e- even to you, it's gross. Oh gosh! I know you. You oh. are slightly you're shaken to your core, being oh. like, "I, I find this creature repulsive," oh. and you, you, you can't believe that Hammy would keep these things in his private residence. Oh. But as you're kind of you're all pressed up against the wall. Um, and it's it's tense, but also absurd. As basically, this abyssal <laughs> chick is just like. <laughs> it takes like a full forty-five seconds to file past you, and then it just sort of carries on out the door and just sods off into the cafeteria. Great. Right. You, you hear me like <laughs> starts eating some discarded tuna off the floor. That's okay. fine. So that's well, one out the door. Out the door. Now, now we stay here and wait for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how long does that spell last? It's an hour. All right. Well, should we make some so progress? We can make some progress. Let's check out the other room. We see may how or may not encounter. See how they're arranged in the next room. Okay. 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 That look like if Pyramid Head was uh, a oh, chicken, geez. by the way. God. That's a Silent Hill chicken. Yeah, they're pretty gross. Oh, oh no. No thanks. Delicious though. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But I like all animals. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of them. All right, you start. Uh, are you proceeding down the corridor? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right. Uh, so there's like a, a room off to your right, and then at the end of the corridor, there's a door that way and a door that way. Hmm. Um, okay. How about we all? The rule is you always go left. <laughs> you know, when you go and you just keep turning the same <laughs> way. <laughs> so you don't is there a, like a keyhole to the door on the right I can peer through, just see if I can see into the room? Yeah. Sure. I'd like to peer in and see if it looks like a bedroom or what. Yeah, wisdom perception check, please. Uh, 16, 19. Okay, it it, it, it appears to be uh, the abyssal chicken's, like, not bedroom, but, like, <laughs> roost. There are four of them in there. Uh-huh. Uh, three of them are asleep. You see one of them on a perch try and fly across the room. These things are famously bad flyers, so it's just like flap, 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 flap. Ooh, <laughs> hits right. the dick, it's like. So that's two unaccounted for Not in their gang, up. I see. Mm. Nope, okay. Uh, right, so right left or right? Two doors, two remaining chickens. Do you want I mean, check out the key, scope the keyhole. Keyhole, the other, I'm going to check the keyhole of the uh, left one. Oh, I wish I could turn into mist right now. <laughs> <laughs> see? 
Wow. Um, you it's can't. It's weird. You, you're not sure if something's blocking the keyhole or what, but you can't really see much of anything. <laughs> I just saw the critical one, so I just think it's oh. dark in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I can't see anything in there. It's all dark in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It seems fine. Uh, It's going to be um, the keyhole on the other side. On the other side. The other side is a study of some kind. (laughs) Um... If this is the study, then presumably the other one is the bedroom. By process of elimination. Is Hamadar yeah. likely to be napping with abyssal chickens, or for the abyssal chickens to be in the He's study? He's a hard time falling asleep looking at one of those. I don't know. I'm asking questions about Hamadar more and more. Like, yeah. Can I cast Hamadal. clairvoyance into the room? Ooh. Yes, you can. Oh, yes. Uh, you, uh, so, you've got your little... Swivel, swivel eye thing. Yeah, my little glass eye. Little GoPro. So, you. <laughs> a magical you GoPro, kind of... and then I cast it mentally into the room. Okay, yes. so in the room, there is like a grand four poster bed. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a chest at the end of, of, of the bed where, you know, like some of Hamadal's effects must be kept. There's sort of a dresser there, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like a chest of drawers, of clothing. Um, you realize the reason Marilyn couldn't see anything yes. uh, through the keyhole is because there is an abyssal chicken. Smushed right up against oh. the door. It's just kind of standing there. Oh. So Marilyn was just looking into flesh. And then uh, sleeping on the bed, kind of like <laughs> with a, an eye mask on uh, and his arm tucked around an abyssal chicken is, uh, is Hamadal, who's wearing some pajamas. He's wearing a little nightcap. Okay. Uh, there's an ornate key on a chain around his neck. Oh, dang. Um, <laughs> All right, we've got the last two abyssal chickens. And one of them's up against one the door. One of them's against the door. So we can't open the door even without disturbing a chicken. I mean, we could. That is a problem. Can, can we. It's right up against the keyhole, just mm. something long and Can narrow. Just get a, like a long, hot skewer and just put it through <laughs> the keyhole into its throat. Just. But he might miss it. Abyssal because... chickens are delicious. Yeah. Does anyone have anything that like pointy that would fit through this keyhole? I just could cast a bit of heat metal and we could just try and just... Yes, I've got a stiletto, stiletto blade. Mm, that'd go through. Uh, Wait, it'd be harder to account for a dead chicken, a dead and partially just, fried what chicken. What if we once again just... Quietly open the door and see if it wants to into the hallway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have an idea. What? Uh, we the the chicken could just think that the door opened by itself. By itself. Okay. Yeah. So if we all hide, yes. we all hide yes. in the study. I cast greater invisibility on myself. Okay. And then I'll just. Yeah. I love it. Beautiful. I would like a wisdom insight check from you, please, Marjorie. God. Oh, oh my God. Wish we hadn't committed to the rest of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Great, 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 great. This grit. is my moment. That is a push door. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Wait, oh. wait. I've, I'm observing hinges. Let me just. When you are a centaur, you are at the perfect height to see a hinge. Yeah. Yeah. hinge. Uh, I'm looking at these hinges. <laughs> Tell me these hinges. Well, let's, should we have a look at what we're thinking? Should we have a look in the study? Because there might be a clue as to the, the password that he uses, the passphrase. Well, we know there's no chickens in the study. There's yeah, no chickens true. in the study because they're all in the other one, right. the other one's there. Let's try confidently into the study. All right. Um, sure. Maybe an intelligence investigation check if you want to have a nosy around yes. and try to find some things. Cool. Oh, yeah, I do want to do that. Okay. Intelligence investigation. That's oh, four. I missed my dice tray. Four. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Six. All right. Uh, it's a dirty 20. Wait. 20. Of course, I'm carrying the team. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, Prudence and Marilyn, you go in, and understandably, you are just captivated by the. I'm going to say, like, six foot high oil painting of an abyssal chicken. <laughs> It wow. is exquisitely no. done. Like the drool coming from its mouth looks wet. He's super wow. into these things. It's huh? amazing. Like this. Um, like just that, yeah. Huge. And you see there's a little plaque that just says like Mallory. Oh, oh he really likes them. Yeah. Um, the study is, uh, it's it's a lot of his previous works, um, kind of like in, in tomes and, and sort of encyclopedia and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, and of course there's lots of notes on his work um, to this point, his you know his memoirs are being written here effectively, um, and there is a painting, uh, not a painting, a small a small like uh, framed drawing on at the desk of um, of a street, uh, which uh, you'll recognise as indeed the street he grew up in. <laughs> um, there's a portrait of a woman who looks who looks not unlike Hamadal, um, which is uh, Mrs. Hamadal, <laughs> Nay <Nay-Nay> Osborne. <laughs> You know, this is just some stuff. Um, 
What else is there? <laughs> what else is there? Yeah, for a dirty 20. There's a po- Corazon, you find a... Uh, you find a small yellow piece of parchment on which some sort of incredible uh, tacky substance has mm. been put on the reverse side. It's stuck underneath the desk, and it says, Memo, door password, lovely chicken. Lovely chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we got the password, folks. Oh, well done. And we got some valuable intel, which is that, like, Hamadal is really into these abyssal chickens, so we're going to have to yeah. knock on the head the like anything to, that's going to harm them, and we should probably think about Oh, because he, he's going to go spare when he finds out that one's wandered free yeah. as well. And we know his mother's maiden name if we need to get into his banking. Yes. <laughs> Should I go get it back? I'm worried about the one that's no, no, no. lost. That's, we worry about one problem at a time. Okay. No, we're we're the the problem that we have now is that the door opens inwards and there's a chicken. Okay, prudence. What, do, what does an abyssal chicken like to eat? Sounds Bissle. like a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the abyssal? Yeah, I don't have an idea. Actually, actually, actually <laughs> looking at their teeth mm-hmm. to get to the other side, it means. It looks oh like my it. god! <laughs> the other side. It looks like they're carnivores. They have long, licky tongues. Um, they, they definitely look like predators of some sort. Mm-hmm. Would they like normal? Chicken? Maybe they don't want to feed. They want to hunt. Mm. Could we like? Through the, in, if there's a tiny crack in the top of the door, <laughs> poke a chicken. Poke a little bit of chicken. Yeah, poke yes. some little bits of chicken yes. through. Yes. So okay. it just falls to the other side of the abyssal chicken. Yes. It wakes up, goes over, just starts pecking. And then we gently. Little, yeah, so it's away from the door. I'm yeah. gonna do that. And then through the start. keyhole, a few more. Okay. Okay. Start poking bits of chicken. Just a little breadcrumb trail. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Get through me. the cracks. Does anyone have like a straw? No, I pull out a reed, a, a hollow reed. <laughs> a reed. <laughs> Like a blow oh, pipe like for good, tiny actually. gobbits of chicken. That's yeah. very good. You are going to get sick. Yes, yeah, water. Other, other end. Chicken. Other end. Like. Oh, sure, that's fine then. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Do you remember which end is which? Did you wash it last time? Yes. <laughs> the, next, the next time you use the you, Merrill Wentz patented tiny blowpipe, I'm yeah. going to make you roll. <laughs> and it's going to be 50 50. You get some. Merrill Wentz meat shooter. I would like a deck sleight of hand check, please, to, um, to just basically push some chicken through a door frame without just turning it into corking. 18. Oh. Oh. You've done this before. <laughs> And, uh, That's weirdly. Meryl went deck sleight of hand check to, to fire tiny bits of chicken through a blowpipe through a keyhole. Sleight of mouth check. Next or it time. might uh-huh. be like at the base. Eh? It might be at the base because he's okay. blocking the Oh, keyhole, I see. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Fine. Okay, so is it de- deck sleight? Okay, 14. Okay. Um, but... Between the two of you, you, you I'm going to say you poke like three quarters of a chicken <laughs> through yeah. the doorway. Wow. And like, you start to hear like, just teeth like, mm. like yeah. chattering. And then there's like, Noises. Check as, the keyhole. It's oh, it's moving all right, and it's kind of like <laughs> snick it, sniffing around, trying to find more chicken. Okay. Right, so if we can, okay. like very slow, like slightly open the door, not mm-hmm. too much. Mm-hmm. Can I? How far away is the bed from the door? Ten feet. Okay. Can I cast Mage Hand to <gasps> try and yes remove the key? Yes, you can without being in. in his wait, 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 wait. Y- you could be invisible. And go right up there. Would that be easier? I don't know how Mage Hand works exactly. What's more likely? What's easier? I mean, Mage Hand is just a hand, like that goes thirty feet. So if it depends on if there's like like a clasp on it or anything, it's you know how hard. He's it kind would of be sitting up because he's kind of like okay. Got his arm round an abyssal chicken. So I could probably just. I'm going to say it's successful. It's the 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 key is sort of now just sort of floating in a in a in a Mage Hand. The question is whether the abyssal chicken on the bed is going to want to play with it. Oh, no. It has not noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> so it, it, there is like, well, if, hmm. Because Hamadal, when he snores, is definitely like, me, 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 me. <laughs> How does an abyssal chicken snore? It's not like a honk shoe. It's like a... <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's, it's, it sounds incredibly congested. Um... But yes, the, the key is starting to sort of float towards you, and then... You've got it. Just bring it back out. What would be so great is if we could get this key back here before Hamadol wakes up. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's try and be quick then, I, I mean, suppose. I could stone shape a replica so that he would at least feel... How long would it last? It's magical as well, though. Uh, that would just be forever. stone. I think it's just, yeah, it's just forever, but oh. stone. 
Well, I mean, what you could have done, I mean, it's good that you've got the password now. What you could have done is just insert a piece of stone into the lock and just let it, let it fall. <laughs> <laughs> don't, know why you, well, don't know why you didn't do that in the first place. Yeah. That was a fun, that was doing a fun bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I guess let's, let's not risk, like, disturbing him. Yeah, but, uh, and that's what I'm worried about. Unless we kind of, like, hook it on the end of bed, like, oh, he just forgot. Can um, we, how long does sleep last? Can we, can we ensure it's only a minute. A minute. Yeah. 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 Okay, he is, yeah, he's currently on course to be asleep for more than a minute. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, all right, um, fine, got the key. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, yeah. Key and password. Yeah, key and password. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Okay. Quietly back down the hall? Yeah, or, I mean, we could jam this door so he can't get out of his bedroom. I could buy us some time. Buy Although, some time that would be time where he is awake in his bedroom and realises that the key is gone, Stop which would be very suspicious. Things. You're right. You're right. Pranks are better. When you're right, you're when right. When they're simple. Yeah, absolutely. How about, no, no, I'll create, we, we, we could block the door, like, block it so that, like, the lock's a bit jammed or whatever, and create another key of his, and I'll pop it on the floor outside so that if he looks through, he's like, there's my key, it must have fallen off, and then it just delays it. I don't know, I'm just trying Can to... Can you help. say the thing about overcomplicating it? <laughs> 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 like powder. <laughs> well, Denise, look, listen. I'm, oh, Denise, you're here. <laughs> yeah. Denise, it's okay. yeah. Hey, Denise. I'm listen, Denise. I've got the afternoon off, and... If you want to get in there and you know bring down Hamadol, great. Bring me back some research or whatever. But I'm probably going to go get like wasted on margaritas. So, yeah. how about you go in? I'll take the key back. I'll put it back. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that sounds oh, good. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. All right, yeah, great. Yeah, 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 great. Yeah. All right, we've got the key. Here's my chicken straw. All right. Here's my bar of shaving soap. Put as much research into that as you can. Well, okay. Okay. I'm going to ruin this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Um, uh, yes, you are. You sort of stack up by the door. Is there any sign of the loose chicken? Uh, yeah, it is currently just like buried in a trifle. There's an enormous <laughs> bowl of trifle, and it is just like. Good. <laughs> Good. Right. Good I um, can't help but notice once again that Denise sort of destroy him. Yeah, you know, as a prank. Down. As a prank. Well, she didn't say it as a prank. <laughs> Yeah, but it was, you know, a japesome, a japesome prank. Oh, no, I mean it. Like, this isn't a joke to me. I'm oh, gonna, you're still I'm going to destroy him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I need, uh, sorry, once I... you get past the door, I need to take the key back. Right, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, but to be, to be clear, yeah. this isn't a game for me. I'm going to destroy him. I hate him. Uh, is that a problem? Classic. Well, no, it's not a problem. I mean, okay. I just don't want to... I don't want to make things awkward between me and Hammy. Okay. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. I'm oh, just I thinking, see. you know, you do your thing. Terence is fine. Plausible deniability. Down at the club, you know, I don't want people saying, All right. you know, okay. she, yeah, was I get on, it. she was with a, you know, a group of. A group of I just, I just, I think I might just <laughs> step back from this whole. That's fine. Yeah. We, yeah. Ha- we actually get that all the time with people we meet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they hang out with us for a little while and then they're like, you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I might just. Yeah. I thought you were cool. Yeah. My now. conscience won't let me uh, <laughs> yeah. sit with this situation anymore. So. Okay. The hag was fine, but this, this is too far. <laughs> I will wash my hands of this. Yeah. Hamadal asks. Yes. What should we say? What's your? Why did you have to go? I had to go look after. A uh, what's a got it? Yeah, what's okay, it? A pigeon. A <laughs> a pigeon. pigeon. Yeah. Can we just huddle for a second? Denise is otherwise occupied. Am I in your huddle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we're oh, oh. We're I mean, us. we don't want to betray Hamadol anyway. He's paying us, right? Yeah, we just want to. We just want to check. He's so let's betray Denise instead. We just, you know, we, 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 we well, just as long as we betray sure. someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just want to make sure that we betray the right person. So we want to see what's happening behind yeah. the closed we'll, doors. Denise yeah, isn't paying us. So we don't need to bring Denise, Denise any decisions. research. We'll betray everyone <laughs> equally, and then it's fair. <laughs> that would be fair. I, yeah. I do want to know what's in the secret exactly. lab. Exactly. So like. Let me know. We'll, we'll do. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, we'll send drop me a sending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, give him yeah. a sending number. Just yeah. like untraceable. Just be like, by the way, yeah. maybe maybe don't, take some. Don't I'll, take get some a selfish. I'll get a burner. I'll get a burner pigeon. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> burner pigeon. Yes. We've got, we've got we've got two messengers here. I'll so. look after the pigeon. What's his? No, you you got to destroy it. No! That's why they call it the burn song. You set it on fire once yeah. you've, listened, you've read the message. I'll, I'll set it a little bit on fire and then I'll nurse it back to health. No, no, no. You've got to kill it and then you've got to put it in a stone building. Otherwise, it won't be encrypted in both ends. <laughs> <laughs> He's got us there. Yeah. Oh. They've got us there. Well, 
let's... I'm going to leave before any more puns happen. <laughs> I'll tell me with you. Um, <laughs> well, Marjorie, right. it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, we will be in touch to let you know what Hammer does. If yeah. you find anything that could put Terence in any danger, yes. like you a hag that eats children. I'm sure. Like two hags that eat children. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's fine. Anything else? Anything else? Yes. Got it. Okay. All I can say is thank you so much for helping us. Oh. Uh, it, it's been, yeah, we couldn't have done it without you and we couldn't have done it with Egbert, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too much, too much. <laughs> I think they're long gone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. think about them it's anymore. It's been going quite smoothly. There's been a real yeah. lack of explosions. Yeah. This, this adventure, I will say. Okay, well. Then uh, let's say uh, that <laughs> you you take your leave of the Oxventurers. You kind of tally ho chaps with, with the tally ho chaps. You sort of tally ho. Trot your way down the corridor. Oh, and and <laughs> What's that stress? Um, and uh, yeah, the rest of you kind of uh, contemplate this this large, forbidding, very expensive door as you hear the sound of of hooves kind of. Uh, Getting fainter in the distance, and then um, you hear a and then a crump kind of noise, as if um, as if something like about seven foot tall and in a bunch of armor just got dropped out of the sky just outside of the visitor center. I guess we'll find out what that is next week. So uh, yeah, Yay. Cool. thank you so much for joining us. It has thank been you. an thank absolute you. delight. Yeah. Do you want to remind everyone where they can find you on the internet? Yeah, find me at S. Bundell. Also, there's some good science that episode. So, mini plug. I do a show about Dungeons and Dragons and science uh, called RP Geeks at <gasps> RP Geeks D and D. Even more science. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Thanks. So love me. I've had a great time. Good. Yay. Thank you. Folks are awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you. Yes. <Yeah. laughs>